Yesterday's video, I mentioned that the uh, the only thing that I had issues with this camera is uh, is the audio, and that got me thinking. Hopefully, I won't get hit. Oh lord, dude! Fuck, man! Dick. Just in case you missed that, some uh, sorry individual uh, almost ran me over with. Why? If you're driving and you see a cyclist or a skateboard, just move over. People get me all worked up this early in the morning. What was I talking about? Oh, the most important thing that people don't pay attention to when it comes to, to video work. And it has nothing to do with video. about how humans observe the world. It's broken up into th to three parts, really. And two of those parts can be replicated with, with video. The first one is going to be visual, obviously. The second one is going to be like touching and, and feeling. And the last one is going to be sound. And I think as uh, videographers, we're very much into the visuals. We spend thousands of dollars looking and researching and ultimately getting cameras that have great specs for video. But that's only half of the equation. The other half, sound, is we don't really think much about it, at least in my experience. Now, before you start typing that comment that you, you disagree with me, just, just picture this. Think about any kind of B-roll sequence or any kind of video at all that has no music, that has no sound. And just think about how boring that would be. Without sound, then it just becomes, it becomes nothing more than just looking at, at pictures. So with that thought process, if you can have great video combined with great audio, then uh, it's just gonna make your mov movies more dynamic. It's going to just be more immersive for the viewer. If, if you can hear what's going on, to, to some degree, then uh, that's just a win all around. And that's honestly really a big reason why I chose to spend the money on the microphone that I did. One, because it gives me really good high quality audio. And two, it's, it's really easy to use because it's attached to the camera and it's already synced up. Basically, all I'm trying to say with this whole diatribe is if you're a filmmaker, don't skimp out on the audio. And if you don't know much about audio, take the time to educate yourself on just what proper compression is, what proper gain staging is, what's the difference between audio going into a 3.5 millimeter jack and a 48K digital interface that this this says. You don't have to know everything, you just have to know the basics and if you do, it's gonna make it's gonna elevate your your storytelling and your videos. I'll put a link down below with some of the microphones that I think are really good. They're gonna be all on camera microphones, mostly just because it's if you want something simple. And with those microphones there will be a bunch of different price points, anywhere from like a hundred bucks to I think this thing's like five hundred dollars. Uh okay.